mile. In other national news, a nine-year-old boy from Colorado has convinced the leaders of his small town to overturn a ban on snowball fights. That's right. Dane Vest presented his arguments at a town board meeting last night. Sharp dress, may I say. The third grader told town council members that the nearly 100-year-old ordinance was outdated and prevented kids from getting the exercise they need during the winter months. The law says it is unlawful to throw or shoot any stone or missile at a person, and in this case, a snowball is considered a missile. Even though the ban isn't enforced, Dane wanted to make sure his next snowball scuffle was street legal. Today's kids need re reasons to play outside. Research suggests that a lack of exposure to the outdoors can lead to obesity, ADHD, anxiety, and depression. Kids want to have snowball fights without breaking the law. It started out as a little town of Severance, you know, 6,000 people, and it was supposed to be a quick meeting or two and, you know, talk to the mayor and talk to the trustees. And then now he's getting interviewed by every news station in the state and picked up by, you know, other newspapers in the country that are calling for interviews. It's pretty crazy. We're proud of him. Yeah. Snowball effect, I guess. <laughs> I, I think Dane has a future in politics, I'm just saying. He does. Board members voted unanimously and said a snowball is not a missile. After success, Dane's four-year-old brother Dax, though, better look out because it looks like Dane is aiming for him when he said who he wants to attack with the next snowball. Ooh, I said it once, I'll say it again. I just want to throw a snowball at Kevin. I just, a good snowball fight does sound refreshing. Yeah, and there's <laughs> some snow in Alta Sierra area. Oh, so. there you go. We should have to take a little road trip. Just a little road trip. All right.